What's up? What's up? Hey. Hey. Hi, good evening. Good night. Where should we go? The we are the cops. Everyone should fear us. Where should we go? Because we're the cops. Please, be afraid of the cops. We're going to go see where Clements works. I forgot I was in a fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Good Lord. So, Walter Clemens. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is so dumb. I can't even... Ugh. You got this, dude. Stop! Move aside. Move aside. That's the mother, Rick. Move aside. Oh, my God. Move If we never in our life before... Aside. Had... Oh my god. Move. Oh my aside. god. <laughs> Someone put WWE sound effects oh to that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh the car. Oh my god. Snow cold. Snow cold. Why do they repeat <laughs> the name so many times? Because it's tight. Is it though? Dude, it's like medieval times. <laughs> like it's like about getting the crowd jacked. You know what I mean? It's just really J Jim Ross. That dude is, always makes everyone laugh. It's tight. All right. Yo, I know you're struggling right now in your life, people at home. But this fire truck and your fathers, we got you. We're your parents. Two dads fire truck company. <laughs> Hi, we're two parents. We're not married to each other, but we're two parents. We're two separately... Two responsible parents. Two reasonable, responsible Shit. parents. Do you think I can get through here? <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> Shit's teleporting in while you're dealing with it. I think I'm. I think I have to go around. Didn't you hear the fire truck? Didn't you hear? Didn't you hear? Oh wow! There's no way. Nope. You gotta go around. I wonder if I can sneak right through there. Oh my god, I pressed the brakes like five seconds ago. Okay. Oh my god. This car has like centrifugal force. Let's go. Alright. Let's go. Okay. Let's Oof. go. Let's go. You're and there. What's up? And what? And what? Oh boy. And what? Oh and boy. What? And what? Oh, the Peterson nope. family is going to be so angry. The Peterson family is just going to be happy oh to- Oh my god. The Peterson family is just going to be happy to know- <laughs> that they were able to assist in what is bringing happening? Some, bringing some criminals to justice. Get out of the street! How are you going to be taking your dear, time while this is happening? Dear Mr. and Mrs. Peterson, we regret to inform you that a fire truck from our rogue. Sorry about the lawn furniture, love Cole. <laughs> that's that's his post-it note apology. The official police. Uh, <laughs> the I, front of the car is so bad. I totally hate this this fire truck now. PD. Damn. We want some answers and we want them quick. They're not okay. fucking around. Okay. What's this all oh about? my Tell god. It's Pete Campbell. Pete Campbell? It's Pete Campbell! Yeah. You know Reginald Barley? No? Can't say I do. No. Can't say I do. I doubt. Oh, look yes, at you. Yes, you do. You <laughs> Pete Campbell, I have watched enough of Mad Men to know that you are full of shit. Yeah, you're a liar, bud. Doubter boy. I'm going to doubt that man. Detroit PD is after Reginald Barley for murder. You want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Barley is he gets... <laughs> He's doing like a New York accent. A very weird one. Spreads around if you can. Employment with InstaHeat. You were licensed and worked for InstaHeat? Contract for them. So what? You are not licensed. You are not. I'm gonna doubt oh. you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> doubt that man. Is he hires arsonists? Does it? I worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house, and my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded in settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. Oh so God! You're house. racist. Yeah, Everybody's racist, that. man. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. What? <laughs> what? Biggs! Biggs! What happened? You were a good guy. This is the first case we've had together, You're Biggs. You're out with this skis, man? Oh, my God. Get the fuck Knowledge out of Ryan. here. Get the fuck out. Matthew Ryan? No. 
Don't know the name. <laughs> oh, yeah. You never heard of him? Oh, Let yeah. Let me ask you a question. Are you a fucking communist? <laughs> are you a fucking communist, Clemens? Because if you aren't, why the fuck is Ryan's fucking anarchist pamphlet inside your goddamn locker? Yeah, dude, that? you're a liar. You're a liar. You're a fucking liar, dude. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? No. Uh, we got a fucking pamphlet, Clemens. Your anarchist pamphlet. Which one should I, this one? Use his, it's his. Yeah, okay. We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. You can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. Damn. This from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. So you do know him. You do know him. For the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get Can you? He ain't our guy. Biggs, don't stand up for him, you piece of shit. It's cool that you burned down your wife's house, man. Biggs, if you keep this up, we're taking your grandma's house, man. Can I just take that car instead of this car? No. <laughs> I know, Biggs. I'm with you on that one point. Look, Biggs. Can I call you, big fucker? Listen, big fucker. Whoa. All right. Let's go to Varley's. Look, you were cool with us until you made that comment about how you congratulated a man for murdering his family via burning shit down. Did he kill them? Uh, yeah. You were in combat in 1917. No, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. What? What? That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. We might need I to may use be it. I'm old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. That was me pulling the brakes from like an appropriate distance. Ready? Watch. Three, two, one, brakes. You seeing that shit? <laughs> Are you fucking seeing that yeah, shit? Yeah, I see him. Brakes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, oh, I teleported! Oh. No! Stop Don't! Shoot, shoot a warning shot. Can you shoot him? I can't shoot. You can't. Him. You have the gun. Shoot. Oh, you really have to hold it on him. God yeah. damn it! All right. Yeah. I need to get a straight line shot. Of sight, line of sight. Yeah, I need to get a straight shot on him. All right. Come on, Barley. You can't keep Got him. Forever. Stop Woo! Or I will shoot. Hell yeah. That's right, bitch. You can't get in my run. fire truck. Yeah, <laughs> get in my fire truck. Yes, the fire truck. Put him in the fire truck. Put him in the fire truck. Put him in the fire truck. Come on. Please put him in the fire truck. Barley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your arson. You can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. <laughs> Fire truck. <laughs> Let's go. You jumped in it first. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I'll do this. All right, let's set up the uh, next, the next right. one. Oh, brother. All right, what do we got? Ryan's work site. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's like super close. God, it's so hard to turn in this car. All right. I'm like right here. Let me in. <laughs> oh my god. No, the fire truck's gone. Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. You are so. God, fuck it. If I have to drive after this guy in a fucking fire truck, I'm gonna be so mad at you. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great, though? Oh, shit. Dude, you almost had that guy. I tried my best. All right. One man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the man. 
Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How is this guy still on the road? Oh, da, 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 da. oh my god. That's ridiculous. Let's go. God damn this. Shut up, Biggs. You don't know anything. What am I even hitting? <laughs> Fucking curb. <laughs> I can't. Oh, fuck you, I Herschel. Can't believe this. Go eat a chocolate bar. Let's go. Let's go. Why do all of our partners' names like, have names you can instantly identify with being mad at? Because they're made up. God! What? You gotta what, understand. Like, I'm not laughing like, at you. I'm just laughing at like. I didn't even. I didn't even hit anything. <laughs> I just hit like a tree. I you hit a tree. I hit like next to a tree and flew f six feet to the right. Swerve into him. Get. There fuck. you go. There. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I should get a medal. That's <laughs> <laughs> <He's dead. laughs> <laughs> He's here. Oh. Like hurt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Sleuth Pros. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did that happen? <laughs> Just were, that was a fast you, fucking trolley, you, yo. You were so mad. Dave sex trolley train coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Magneto. <laughs> that's kind of like. That's that's just. Oh my god. <laughs> that dude's fucking dead. He died. He died. Dude. <laughs> His neck broke. He fucking died. He this didn't make the, it. This is the fifties where your car is just a tin can. Yeah. He fucking flipped. He he died. That guy is not with us anymore. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. God, what are you what are you why are you why are you driving like that? Get out of here. Alright. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> god damn it. Alright. What do we got? Who's that? What's going on here? That bum took a swipe at me. Put him down in my I have staff. two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Shut. Biggs. Ryan's waiting for you. Are you fucking one. kidding me? Barley's in two. Hey, Hopkins. You practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. Whoa. See? Okay, so charging is... So this is a matter of choosing one or two. So let's interview both and decide which one we want to charge. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to interview him first. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. Okay. Anarchist literature, my dude. Tell us about it. All right. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, so, um, Ryan, well, I hate to be, I hate to be, dude. <laughs> I just, I assume he's lying. He doesn't look really like he's lying. Ah, uh, a little bit. He's like swallowing. 
Alex, we have the fucking gigantic box full of goddamn papers in his goddamn locker. Yeah, you think the anarchist pamphlets are the the thing? Absolutely. Or his criminal record? No, his fucking the papers. All right, all right. We're about. He's like acting like. Right. Okay. Yeah. He, no. He has all a right. fucking book. He has a yeah. shit ton of right. manifestos. Right. 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 Sabotage, Brian. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? You have like <laughs> right boxes though. You dude. have boxes and boxes. You have like boxes. Anarchist pamphlet. Yeah. Clearly made to distribute. Full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. <laughs> A guy has to do something. Insta heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta heat bought out Hephaestos. Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them. A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. Jesus. Okay. All right. Insta Model Seven. Tell us about it. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. That was the most liar thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, go to the go to the no, the notebook. Yeah. Go down to what uh, what's his name said. This guy. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. That's it. That has to be it. Yeah. Okay. That's what I You're thought. You're a certified dude who doesn't know how to fucking yeah. do that. Yeah. Hell no. You're a liar. Yeah. You know enough to do your job. You know enough to do that. <coughs> You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Uh, your boss fucking told us otherwise, my dude. Do you, are you just like not aware you're that I'm like a cop? An investigator? Okay. So I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? I won't tell you. Uh-huh. Suburban redevelopment. Tell us about that. What can you tell me about the suburban redevelopment fund? Nothing. <sighs> okay. He's, he's being squirrely as fuck. We can't. He, we have nothing to pin him against the lie, but this fucking guy's full of shit. He's a doubt. We doubt boy him. We have to. I mean, he looks like he like wants to tell me the truth already. I'm just gonna fucking doubt him because yeah. he's gonna tell me everything he's a fucking right idiot. now, right? Yeah. He's gonna yeah. tell me everything right doubt the fuck the man. now. Doubt okay, the man. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. I think suburban is <laughs> for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Attempted murder charge. Okay. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. Will you go back to the log real quick? History of violence? He does have one. Look, Ryan's right. criminal records right the fuck here. Right. He shows prior convictions in contempt and assault. So he's obviously lying. So should I, guys, just call, I just call him on his shit. Call him a liar, and that's his own record against yeah, him. Fuck yeah. him, dude. Fuck this guy. You're lying. And how exactly are you gonna prove that? Your criminal record. What do you, what my do you dude. think? Like, what do you think I? We, we are the fucking cops. What do you think my job is? Like, what do you think I do besides gather evidence to take you down? Charged with attempted <laughs> murder, Brian. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? Has faced those water heater company. Leave him alone for now. Don't charge him. Right. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. No way. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. All right, let's go talk to uh, Varley and see what's up with him. Just went through the door, no big deal. Oh, procedure says we eliminate all oh. he's in the interview room. It's over here somewhere. Two, I believe. Patrol briefing. No, is this it? No, nope. that's the that's exit. Exit of the building. Is it over here. The Look for the was, sign. Was a real nice guy. There we go. Yeah. I, lousy I think you're right. Yeah. Interview two. Yeah. This one right there. 
All right, let's talk to the man. All right. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Barley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Jesus. Jesus okay. Christ. Okay. Have you ever Work at, at the residence. By the name of Sawyer. Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Are you sure about that, Varley? This guy looks fucking... Varley, I'm just gonna call you a fucking goddamn liar because we have evidence that you're a fucking serviceman. This guy, right? Yeah. Right Service by Varley. Yeah. Sir yeah. You're okay. a fucking dumbo, buddy. Okay. So I'm gonna just call him a liar, straight up. Yeah. Why are you lying to me, Varley? If Suburban wants their... This is like fact-based. I'm not even having to read their faces. The right. House. So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? How can you prove that I was? You signed a piece of paper signifying that you're at the goddamn location. You have to do it. You have to do it. Inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Yeah, we fucking got you there. We're the goddamn cops, dude. Yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him though, because he still wouldn't sell. All right, I'm not saying anything yet, but I have a vibe this guy did not do it. You think this guy didn't do it? You yeah. Think because he's being so free with the facts? Kind of. All right, well, let's just keep going. Let's so see what he says. Let's see what he says. You're in the pocket of some property developer? Never. I got principles. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. All right, so should I, I just... I was team you, just, and then you said that. So I just throw what Ryan said in his face? We have what Ryan said. We have what Clemens said. Do we have what Clemens said? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, what did Clemens say? Clemens said... Kickbacks by Reginald Varley. Varley. Conspiracy with the development. Okay, so I'm going to just... I do, think, I think it's either that's or. That's even worse. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Matthew. I'm going to use Ryan. Lie. Sorry, lie. Yeah, I'm going to use... I'm going to use... I'm going to use Ryan's. How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. I'm gonna link you right the fuck now. Ready? You ready? Three, two, one, linked. Facts they were offering. I'll testify in court. Suburban. They got real time pressure and getting some. See, this out. dude fucking comes out with the truth when we call on the lie. Whereas the other dude's like, so yeah, I took them. I don't care what evidence you have. So did a lot of guys. All right, carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Tell us about the Insta Model 70. Reversing the diaphragm of an Insta Heat Model 70, dude. Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? <sighs> buddy, buddy, buddy. Well, he looks pretty caught. We have an issue with you, sir. Go to our evidence, Alex. Yeah, I... What do we find in his goddamn locker? Barley's locker. We found the mosquito coils, didn't we? Oh, fuck. We did, didn't we? <clears throat> what a motherfucker. All right, yeah, I'm gonna call him on Sorry, it. Sorry, dude. I'm gonna hit him with the mosquito coils. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Dude! You got bopped by the mosquito coils. Yeah, dude, liar. The mosquitoes killed you, I dude. You, Barley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? So earlier in last week's episode, the last episode, we determined that a mosquito coil could literally blow a house up. Yeah, so fuck so you. So fuck you, dude. Watch Beard Bros, you'll know. You got bopped. You should have watched Super Beard Bros. Open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Well, hang on. Those things, they belong to Ryan. All right, he asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. Okay. Back out of the interrogation, Alex. Let's walk away. We're done for now. Oh, man. I don't know what the fuck to do. You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. So, let's go ahead and pause the game so we don't lose time for anything. Let's have a conversation right now. Who do you think did it? We have to charge someone. Well, maybe it's time to change outfits to get a better perspective. You're right. Who knows? Here's what I'm saying. Varley is straight up saying 
that he did it. (laughs) What? He's like, yeah, I took their money. Like, I'll fucking, I did it. But he's, he won't admit to the fact that he did it on purpose. He won't admit to the crimes of burning the houses down, but he'll admit to being paid off for doing the shady things that he said he's doing. Right. Whereas Ryan, the whole time is like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Your evidence means nothing to me. He does have more of a motive than Varley does, which is that his house got burned down by Hephaestus water heater company. So he's trying to frame the, the, the water heater company by tampering with the heater. He wants to destroy the company. Yeah. Right. So what do you, based on the evidence we've been presented with and based on the interactions we've had with them, I think that it's fucking uh, Ryan. It sounds like it could be Ryan to me just because I think Matthew Ryan's the one. The thing for me, right, is that like Varley is so forthcoming with facts. Varley's like, you can't prove it. We proved it. He's like, OK, yeah, you're right. I'm yeah. sorry. Whereas like <laughs> Matthew Ryan's like, no, you can't prove that, even though we proved it. Right. So I think it's Matt. I think it's Matt. Ryan. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm I think I'm with you on this. Yeah. I think I'm with you. Dude, Kurt Maloney with a mustache. <laughs> Look it up. You guys will like it. All right, here we go. Charge him. Charge him. Fuck it. Beer bros. Charge this man. Fuck you. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer. Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Are you lying? Is he lying? I, I think he set the fires. I didn't think he didn't kill the family, though. I mean, he did. Phelps, what you did to your wife and kids was on America. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted. You're going to congratulate my ass. Was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson. So well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. What? What? Talk to me about the gas man. Let's forget about this. Oh my Let's forget about God. this. <laughs> Forget about this. Let's forget about this part. Hey, five stars. We'll fucking take it. Let's get some fun facts out of the way. Hit me with the facts. Hit me with some fucking facts. Uh, Aaron Stanton, a.k.a. Uh, Cole Phelps. Right. Rich Sommer, a.k.a. John uh, Cunningham and mm-hmm. Vincent Kathis, sir. Walter Clemens are all co-stars in the series Mad Men. It's very true. Uh, what's the name of the second guy again? Uh, Rich Vincent, Summers. Uh, Rich Summers. John Cunningham. Yes. Yeah. Summers. Yeah. That guy is also the dude from uh, Firewatch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I knew this too. Uh, Albert Lynch and Herschel Biggs were also co-stars on one of my favorite shows of all time, Sons of Anarchy. Who does Biggs play in Sons of Anarchy? Uh, let me see. I don't know if I can look it up from here. My partner Biggs? Yeah. I don't watch that show. I love that show. <laughs> um, Remember that one time? Yeah. That was Emilio crazy. Rivera. We're friends with him on Twitter. He's a tight guy. Yeah. I love that man. He's getting his own show. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Amelia. <coughs> Good job, dude. Dude. Congrats I'd love on the show, to get man. you on Beard Bros somehow. Yeah, right, dude. I would dude. love that, dude. Writing campaign. That guy's the best. Yeah. Beard he's, Bros He's homework. on uh, the, the show Z Nation as well. He's doing great. Yeah. Real happy for him. Um, Let's see here. Alex, I have some bad news to report to you, sir. What is it? Um, The train segment was scripted. What? Yeah, I, I I was looking at the trivia right now, and yeah, the train segment was gonna happen no matter what. I thought the game was fucking with us, and I was so excited to like have the game do the work for us, but we were wrong. Hey, <laughs> but you want to know what? Huh? I guess it proves that we're not using a fucking guide, right? <laughs> I, hey, man, if you're something we're using guide at this point, uh, we're st- we're not perfect dicks anymore. Yeah, like I don't so, know what to tell you. I mean, look, no, he's wrong. We are perfect dicks, but. <laughs> <laughs> we have made one or two mistakes in these cases so far. Um, um, is this based on a real case or anything? No, not really. This um, is kind of like a plot heavy 
case. I get why the player is given a handicap and that the arsonist is shown from the back, putting tools in the back of the van during the cutscene when leaving the insta built building. And while his face is invisible, his hair is, and he clearly is a different man than either of the two main suspects. Additionally, the van is currently a Chevrolet, not an insta heat international. Therefore the player ends the case knowing that neither of the final suspects were actually the culprit. Yeah, I got that vibe too, but, um, the case is arguably unfair from a gameplay perspective since the evidence against Farley is at, the, is at least as strong as that against Ryan, but unlike similar two suspect cases on homicide, where simply neither suspect is, is the real perpetrator, the game considers charging Farley a fail. So if we had charged Varley, we would have lost. Whereas really? in any other case, we would have been right either way. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, fuck it. Got him. Um... Here's a fun glitch during the final question of the interview of Ryan interview, a bug may appear where you may not be able to choose the lie option after using an intuition point backing out of the acquisition and interview completely. Ryan will say, will say he isn't done yet. We'll bring back the option, but other than that, it glitches out. Good thing. We don't use those. Yeah. All right. Well, let's stop here next well, let's, time. Well, let's watch the little, let's watch the little Should thing. Right? Cutscene. So yeah. let's, all right. We'll set, set the, the stage. Up. Let's set the stage. Set the stage for the people. Get them hyped for next time. Next time, I'll be your bros. <laughs> 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 Ooh, flashback bros. Yo. This is like taking a long time. All right. What is? Yeah, where's the scene where we like, get to fucking what, what, kill? What am I? What are we looking at here? I don't know. Our arson, maybe? They're just like they're just like burning down houses, basically. You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders. There's Sergeant. barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Huh. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Whoa. Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. Interesting. Jesus Christ. People really don't like Phelps. Yeah, he's uh, he's a hard ass. He's a fucking straight shooter. He's a hard ass, though. That's his whole thing. Except that he had sex with that woman. A walk in Elysian Fields. What do we got? Paper oh, cranes. man. Serial killer? Uh-oh. We got a fucking serial killer on our hands? Crane boys. Are we dealing with a fucking serial killer again? Hashtag crane boys. Oh, my God. So many cranes. Oh. <laughs> back. Frazier. Got him on things. the chuckle meter again. <laughs> He's back. We got Frazier on the, ch on the C meter. Frazier and the C meet. 650 North Hobart. Okay. All right. Next time on Beer Bros, we're going to the crime scene. Yep. Dude, I feel like we're getting close to the end of the game, but I also feel like we're not. Yeah, this is the best fucking suit. You should be ashamed of yourself, young man. Next time on Beer Bros, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> later, man.